Miriam Rosenstein's basement is a sight to behold. On any given Thursday, it's filled with sculptors, chipping and carving and sanding away. 92-year-old Rosenstein is all business wielding a chisel or a small circular chainsaw over a block of wood. She picked up the art form in her 60s and hasn't stopped perfecting it. When you have something like uh, wood or stone, it, it's different. Each piece of stone is different, each piece of wood is different, and so when you're working on it, you probably have to work differently with each one than the one before. Rosenstein offered up her basement as a less crowded workspace for grateful friends from sculpting class. They all chipped in for an air filtration system, and years later, they still chip in every week with a potluck lunch. It's so much fun, and everybody critiques everybody else's work. I have told more people about Miriam because I think that she is the most fantastic person. To offer her house was very generous of her, I think. The basement, like the rest of the house, is filled with artwork, much of it Miriam's. She says when word got out that she works with wood, people just began bringing her pieces. Still, it's not an easy medium to mold. Same with stone. Rosenstein says sculptors can shape a piece for months only to have a chunk of it simply break off. Maybe it gives you more patience. How do you mean? Well, instead of just giving up on it, you try to work something out with what you have. If Rosenstein sounds zen about the process, that's because there may be something therapeutic in it. This is the only thing that I love that I could just, everything can go away. The, the sadness, the unhappiness. When I do this, everything goes away. And I just dwell on the art. Dolores Stewart is in her 80s. She worked as a driver for years to save up money for art supplies and classes. The focus of her work, happy people. Ever since I was small, I love faces. I love the old people faces. I love the creases. And I love it when they smile. Even though some teeth are missing, you see the joy. Stewart says in art, she found what gives her joy. I absolutely think Art will take you further, live longer, be happier, but that has to be your niche. Whatever your bliss might be, Rosenstein says don't let a late start prevent you from giving it a shot. Give it a try. Give it a try. In Maplewood, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.